Hello everyone. One of the most important aims of research studies is for the researcher to come up with certain suggestions or recommendations uh, for improving certain practices or for understanding situations. And therefore, recommendations is often an important part of the research process. This is generally the last part of the research when the researcher has conducted the research study and is now at the stage of report writing where he or she is uh, recommending to the practitioners uh, certain things on the basis of the findings from his or her research study. So what do we mean by recommendations? Why is it important to include recommendations in the research report? And how can we actually uh, usefully include recommendations in the research report? These are some of the questions that uh, I would like to respond to in this uh, brief presentation. So let us first begin with the what of recommendations. In other words, what are actually recommendations? Um, recommendations are sometimes implications. So sometimes they're also called implications of the research are generally the um, uh, actually highlight what needs to be done in response to the product and process of a research study. Um, so the research study has been conducted in a particular way following a particular research design and then it has come up with certain findings which actually is the product of the research process. Now what are the implications of both the, the uh, process and the product or the outcomes and findings of the research? This is what actually is presented in the form of implications of the research or recommendations of the research process. Then we could also um, say that what the researchers suggest should follow once conclusions are drawn based on findings of the study. So when the, the, the researcher has come up with certain findings from the study, they, uh, they have then concluded certain things from that particular study. And now what should follow? So what? In, uh, in other words, recommendations are uh, or response to the so what of the findings. And so recommendations are often reflected in the form of suggestions uh, related to certain actions that need to be taken, um, to certain policy changes that are needed that have come out as a result of our research study. And also in some cases recommendations or in rather in most cases recommendations also include recommendations for further studies because most research studies are actually bound in time and space and resources and they have limited scopes. Um, and so if there are issues that have come out um, as a result of this particular study that need to be further explored um, in order to get insights, to get further insights into issues um, similar in kind to the particular issue that we have explored in this particular study. So recommendations for further studies could also be included in the what of recommendations. Now um, we move on to the why of recommendations. So why is it important to include recommendations in our research report? Well, generally research studies in social sciences are conducted to get insights into the causes and consequences of phenomena. And as a result, recommendations actually are in response to these particular concepts. So what are the causes of something that you have identified? 
and what are the consequences of what you have actually identified. It is therefore important to recommend courses of action. So if um, your study has identified certain causes for certain phenomena, um, for example, if you have identified certain causes for students' failure in a particular subject, now uh, what you need to actually recommend is actually the uh, what should be done on the basis of the findings that that you have come up with. So therefore, it is important to recommend courses of action or further studies in line with the kinds of insights we got into research issues and topics as a result of our study. So we have explored a particular topic. Now. Uh, we have come up with certain causes and certain consequences of certain actions and as a result we have got certain insights into those particular uh, phenomena and so certain uh, actions need to be taken or maybe they, those particular phenomena needs further exploration and in both cases we need to recommend to other researchers or to policymakers or to practitioners what need to what need to be done in the light of our research and so that's why that that is the the reason behind doing behind including recommendations uh, or implications of our study in our research reports now how should recommendations actually be? Um, the first thing is that recommendations should be in response to established findings of the study. Um, we cannot recommend things beyond the scope of the study or beyond our findings. So if we have well established findings related to our questions, our research questions and objectives, our recommendations should actually be in response to those particular findings. And so they should not just come out of the personal opinions of the researcher. Rather, the recommendations should be based on the well-established findings of the research study. The second thing is that recommendations should be uh, specific and focused and that again actually means that we should not generalize recommendations beyond our findings we should give very specific clear to the point and focused recommendations the next important thing is that we should cautiously word our recommendations so generally researchers do not come up with exclusive terms in terms of giving recommendations. Um, and so they use words that are more cautious, such as the use of may instead of must, uh, like practitioners must do this thing, is something that generally researchers uh, would avoid. Instead, they may use, make use of words that are more cautious in terms of their connotation, such as may and might, in some cases, um, should. Then feasible. Um, this is especially the case with recommendations that, that are actually recommended, sir, recommending certain actions uh, to the practitioners or to the policy makers. So the researchers should know that um, what he or she is recommending are actually feasible. Um, so the recommendation should not be very idealistic. They should be based on feasibility and they should be rational, they should be reasonable and they should be doable. The next thing is they should be based on the objectives and critical analysis of the findings. It's not that you just found something and then you recommend straightforward on the basis of your findings. The findings should be critically analyzed um, with reference to the context of the particular study and with reference to other studies. And 
So there should be critical analysis of the findings and on the basis of critical analysis of the findings, uh, one should come up with objective recommendations. It's not something like I found this and so this should be done. Uh, rather, it should be something like this, well, this. These are the findings of the study and these are the conditions in which these findings have been arrived at. And these are the implications of these findings. And on the basis of these findings, these are possible actions of courses, rather than just uh, giving findings and recommending things. And also, the finding, the, the recommendation should be inside the scope of the study. Again, this is something, uh, in many cases, researchers in their reports go beyond the scope of their, uh, of their particular studies and recommend things that actually they, they generally are not covered in their research objectives or in their research methodologies and um, research analysis. And so that is something uh, very important that the researcher should um, actually be stuck to the, 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 their particular, the scope of their particular research study. Now here is an example uh, of a useful recommendation. So this is like just one recommendation. Um, but this is, this is something that actually is a kind of more critical, contextual, um, and, and, and in a way, objective way of how to actually give recommendation. So I read this particular recommendation, which is from a part of one of my own studies. This study indicates that reflection is influenced by the kind of situations prevailing in practice, with a requirement in the course for developing skills and competencies in classroom teaching and management for obtaining the QTS, the focus naturally will be on the practical level with a neglect of the critical level of reflection. Uh, so here, um, in the very first part, I actually present one of the findings on the basis of which I'm recommending something. So first of all, I gave that particular finding in the first sentence. In the second sentence, I gave some justification, some background to that particular finding. And now in the third sentence, I'm giving a counter argument. However, as literature reveals, a neglect at this stage of the broader scope of reflection at the critical level might hamper student teachers' ability to inculcate and develop reflection at the critical level. So here is the counter argument. So my finding and then the background of the particular finding and then a counter argument to the finding that is based on my empirical data. And so having, having uh, given that particular background, now I'm coming up with the recommendation. And so what is that recommendation? The recommendation is that it is therefore recommended that ways and means need to be found to make student teachers reflect not just on practical classroom issues, but also on broader critical dimensions of the educational process. I could also then um, somehow, I could also include how this could be done. In other words, how reflection at the critical level could be included in the teacher education programs. So this is an example of how actually you give a concrete, feasible recommendation that is based on contextual analysis and critical review. And also you need to give recommendations that are practicable for practitioners and for policy makers and recommendations should be inside the scope of your study. They should not go beyond the scope of of your study. So thank you very much.